very real as we have well this bee apocalypse is very real as we have different areas of the globe seeing a drop off in the colonies of bees and we talked about this in the past and I felt like some people were just trying to take whatever they could find at the time and run with it in terms of an answer and what we discovered is that yes there's a lot of people in the United States that have bees and that take their bees and move them to different places to go pollinate different areas that's one thing and that could count for a lack of bees in that one area but all in all we're talking about everyone that steps out into their backyard on average not talking about people that keep bee colonies we're talking about people that have bees in their own backyard like every one of you should problem is is that's not happening anymore the numbers are dropping off in mass and when it comes to brazil whatever's just happened down there they're saying more than a half of a billion bees drop dead within three months. And this is a cause for concern. They're saying that, you know, these are the most integral pollinators in nature. And that is very true. About 75% of the world's crops depend on pollination by bees. And now all of a sudden, these mass deaths being reported by people in Brazil... And they're saying that in Rio Grande do Sol, 400 million dead bees were found alone in just this one area. They're saying that it was decimated in less than 48 hours after the first uh, bees had showed, shown signs of illness. So, not sure exactly what is going on here, but they're saying that they're dying out of the hives and they're dying in mass. They're pointing to pesticides, but they're not sure. So at this point, we have a situation here. Bees dropping in mass and uh, wanted to make sure that people are aware of it. I will leave a link below in the description box. This has been Dabu7. All right, Brakati Hawa, Brakati Hawa Shai. Brakati Hawa, Brakati Hawa Shai. Brakati Hawa, Brakati Hawa Shai. Call Halayim Lai Hawa Basami Awashai Basham Kakudash double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Citations to you, Akim across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And uh basically from what you just seen, alright, you seen alright, you seen a <laughs> you seen a part of what the biblical Edomite, alright, who is all right, the spiritual counterpart of Satan on the earth. All right, you are seeing firsthand. All right, you're seeing his destruction, his destructive ways. All right, so the Most High told us that this is the serpent. All right, this is the devil, and what they're doing to the earth is completely destroying it. And what, what, what how can you get an example of seeing this man by looking at the bees? All right, because like Dabu Seven said, the bees, right up to 75 between 80 percent of crops and everything and in, 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 in wildlife and in, in, in greenery and trees and just life in general depends on these bees man plant life all right your vegetables your 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 flowers your your honey your, your the trees to help you breathe all of these are dependent on these pollinators man these are the bees but from what we know and what we understand this devil all right this devil is destroying the earth because he can't keep the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. He can't keep this standard going on the planet. And this is why he's being exposed because the Most High is pouring his spirit onto the earth to expose this man. Like Thessalonians said before he destroys him, man. All right, let's get this as Isaiah. This is going to be real quick. Some like quickly seen. All right, two minute video by Dabu7. All right, this is Isaiah 24. This is Isaiah 24 and 4. It says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. So, a part of the earth, all right, mourning and fading away is the sign of bees disappearing, bees being taken in great number. And they are used to pollinate the earth. They are and play a very important <laughs> role in the ecosystem, man, that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua has set up. All right. And this devil, through his chemtrails, all right, through his pesticides, 
all right, and through all of the poisonous ways and, and, and different types of dealings that he brings to the earth, it is really killing the earth, it's killing the people, and you can see now that it's killing wildlife and it's killing insect life, which are these bees, man. All right, and they were they are responsible for pollinating most and majority things in this world, man. Okay, so now the earth is fading away because of this devil and because of his power and because of his uh his lack of keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Isaiah twenty four and four: The earth mourneth and fadeth away; the world languisheth and fadeth away. So everything's fading away, and and you can see that by looking at this example of the bees. All right, you can see that the economy is failing. You can see that the wildlife is in and, and this is the thing you always have you always have a you have a list of extinct animals, man. The Lord said he doesn't delight in death. Whether the, and, and that's that's for us. All right, the Lord is a God of the living and everything is dying under the under the under the hands and under the rulership of these biblical Edomites why? Because they are the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. And our people continuously protect these people that are destructive to the earth man this is why in Obadiah says the Lord is going to get rid of these people man okay they are destroying destroying the earth man they are destroying the wildlife the eco life they are destroying the nation of Israel they are destroying the world because these people are insatiable these people are impulsive and they are the biblical Edomites and under their rule the the, the earth is fading away man okay that's why the scripture says that we we all right, the middle of Great Millstone from the Apostles and Elders on Down. We desire a new earth, a new heaven. Because what what's happening to this one? This man is destroying it, man. And these people, these Edomites, they're, they, they want to get on us. Say, yo, you guys are full of hate. The whole time, the earth is getting destroyed, man. All right, the whole time, animals are going extinct. What is wrong with you people? Oh, we know. You are the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. And under your rulership, the earth is fading away, as it says here in Isaiah. Isaiah 24 and 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Okay, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. These laws that the biblical Edomite pushes, man. Creating plastic. Alright? All the ways of the biblical Edomite are destructive. And this is why I don't even like to be around them on my day-to-day -day basis. I can't stand looking at them. I can't stand being around them because they, in their mind, are okay and have nothing to say against the defiling of the earth, the defiling of the land, the defiling of the animals. They have nothing to say against this. Why? Because they have no they have no conscience towards it because they're the wicked. They don't care. And that's why we are bold to call you the wicked. You are the problem of the earth. You are a pest. You are a vermin. Why? Because you don't care about Yahweh Bashem Shai's creation, which is why you don't care about the destruction of it. Isaiah 24 and 5, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws. There's certain laws that the Most High has put down so that we can rightly right, and properly rule this earth and keep it in order. All right? Now you have the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They are supposed to be the givers of this law, but they're, in their, they're not in their right mind. So now you see all right, a remnant coming to their right mind all right, to try to establish order on the planet all right and it, the first thing <laughs> the first thing we have to do is to get tell on you biblical edomites so the most high yahweh bashim yashai can come destroy you and take you out of power because you are destroying the earth that's why the lord said if there was <laughs> the lord had to speed up this time or else there will no flesh be saved man because this man is destroying the earth you see it says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. All right. So the, uh, the inhabitants of this earth, of this world, all right, which we're at the end of, they're defiling the earth. They're transgressing the laws. They're, they're changing ordinances and they're, they've broken the everlasting covenant, which shows you that they are not fit to rule. OK, now let's get this. This is. um. See why this devil is not fit to rule, man. Bear with me one second. This is Genesis 4. And this goes back to you, Edomites, being the serpent. You are that seed of Cain. You are that serpent seed, man. You are that wicked seed that never f follow directions. Therefore, you are cursed from the earth. And nothing goes good when you are in power. All right. This is Genesis 4. All right. Genesis 4 and 9, and Yahweh said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? 
All right, and he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. All right, and this is the curse. Because you are that same spirit. You come in the same spirit. You Edomites that control this earth, you will come in the same spirit of Cain. And how do we know that? Because we know that when you're in power, nothing is going to yield this increase and everything is going to die. Okay, everything is going to be in terrible case, in terrible condition. You're going to have an extinction list when you have the wicked. The biblical Edomites, you self-proclaimed so-called white people in power. You're going to have death on the earth. Why? Because you're that cursed seed. All right. You are the seed and <laughs> you come in the same spirit as Cain. All right. And Cain was cursed. And so are you. Look at your skin. Genesis 4. All right. And not to say that there aren't people that look like you that are that are Israelites. There are Israelites that look like you. But for the most part, you people with that pale red skin. You are the biblical Edomites, and if you are in power, and if you have wealth and all of these things, <laughs> not saying that there's not any uh, uh, poor Edomites, but for the most part, you people in power, you people that live downtown, you people that change, that call shots and make laws, you are the biblical Edomites, and you are, and come in the the same spirit as Cain, because you are the same seed from Cain. You are that you are Cain, all right, back. All right, through the seed of Esau, Edom. Okay, that's why we call you the Edomites. Genesis 4 and 10. So like in Genesis 4 and 11. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, this is why you have the, the they can't even increase in crops. All the, the food that we eat is GMO. All right, they can't produce and yield food and res natural resources to its increase because they are the wicked they don't know how to till and, and and take care of the earth man genesis 4 and 12 when thou tillest the ground it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength a fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth all right let's go into this word right here bear with me one second Vagabond. Strong's age fifty one ten. Nude. Nude. All right. This is it. Says to move to and fro to wander, to cause to wander aimlessly, and this is the so called self proclaimed white man, the biblical Edomite. They go from land to land, from place to place, destroying, killing, rape, robbing, murdering, not taking care of the land, making things go extinct. This is you. You are the biblical Edomites. You are the wicked of the earth. Okay, look at the. the there's no reason that <laughs> these this amount of bees. All right, not just in Brazil, but all over the earth. Is you you rarely see bees anymore, man. You barely see lightning bugs. And all of the things that bring forth life, you barely, you rarely see them anymore. Why? Because this man is destroying the earth according to Isaiah the 24th chapter, man. Okay, this man, these people, this this race of people, they they have to be taken out of power. They are inept to rule the earth, okay? All right, they have no qualifications. They don't have a God. They are a nomadic caveman people. That's why they were in the Caucasus Mountains. And they should not be ruling anything because what do they bring? Death and destruction. Okay, and this is talking about you Edomites, man, because you move from land to land doing the same thing, bringing death, disease, confusion, rape, rob, murder, all right, <laughs> and just all around total wickedness to every place you go, man, and you're about to be destroyed. This is why this truth is coming unto the earth. Genesis 4 and 12, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not hit forth, yield unto her, yield unto thee her strength, a fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be. All right, in the earth. All right, and this is your punishment, man. And the Lord said, "You're not going to be touched until the last days. You're going to be the end of the world, you Edomites, man." This is Job nine to twenty-four. The earth, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What earth? This last earth. This last rulership. Okay. Who is it being controlled by? The Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bilderbergs, the, the Morgans, all right? The Rockefellers. All these people are the wicked of the earth. This is why the earth is out of course. This is why we eat fucking chemicals when you look, when you, excuse my language, but when you look on our food, all right, everything has chemicals in it. 
Why is this? Because why? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's on all the money? Who is in all the seas? Who has garrisons in all the countries? The wicked. You biblical Edomites are the wicked. There's no such thing as white people. You are the biblical Edomites and you are the wicked and you are destroying the earth. And you have and you have covered the fate. Let's read it. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Who are supposed to be the judges of the earth? The biblical Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're not in power. They're being oppressed. Therefore, you cover up the faces of the judges. You put up this image of white Jesus, and through that image, you spread around the earth wickedness, violence, death, destruction, disease, lies, deception. Why? Because you have been given the earth, and you are the wicked. Read Malachi, the first chapter. You're the border of wickedness. All right? You're a vagabond, and everywhere you wander to aimlessly, you bring that same vibration of wickedness and death and destruction and chaos and disorder. Which is why you see the bees dying off. Which is why you see nothing yielding its increase. Everything has, everything is a GMO or a genetically modified organism in this captivity in this world. Why? Because the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked, and they don't know how to take care of the earth. You are a, you are a foolish people, man. Okay, let's get this. This is Job 30. Let's see why you can't rule the earth. This is Job, the 30th chapter. Let's start at 1. It says, But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of the flock. Yet where too might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished? For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness, these vagabonds. Fleeing into the wilderness in former time, desolate and waste. And this is giving you an image of what they proclaim to be themselves, cavemen. That's why they have the Flintstones. All right, that's why they have the Geico cavemen, because they know they're cave people and they come from the caves. And they've never had a culture or a god. They are a, a, a nation of beastly people. Okay, they are the wicked. Jerem Job 30 and 4 who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat they do the same thing today you got vegans all right not saying these things are not good to eat but these the they show the same traits that they show they have shown all throughout history verse 5 they were driven forth from among men so you weren't even all the men that you were around they 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 they, they wanted you away from them man and now this race of people has taken over the earth and now they're destroying everything. We have a large, a large list of extinct animals. Why is this? Because these people are in power, man. There was no extinction list when all the other nations were ruling. Only when the wicked ruled, man. Lord knows what was going on during the time of the Greeks and the Romans, man, on the earth. Verse 5, they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. Because <laughs> you people are thieves, man. All right, Joe. Uh, John nine, John ten and ten says they if the thief cometh not for to steal, kill, and destroy, man. And this landmass that we're in now, America, it used to be highly populated with with greenery, with trees. All right, natural and clean water, tons and tons of bees pollinating everything, man. <laughs> You see, but now that these Edomites and have taken over the earth, they are actually destroying the earth because what they're doing is spraying chemicals in the skies, man, and it's killing the bees, it's killing people, you know, right? it's ruining the wildlife, it's killing animals. This is a destructive people that has to be taken out by Yahweh by Shemuel Oshai. Job 30, why is this though? To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, in the rocks. Who does that sound like? You cave people who are in power. The Lord took you out of these caves and out of these rocks, cleaned you up, and gave you the earth to rule because he's just. All right? And also because he wants to show his power on you because he hates you. It tells you that in Romans the ninth, in the ninth chapter, man. Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. All right? And there's prophecies all throughout the scriptures, all right, pointing to the desolation and obliteration of the biblical Edomites, man. Okay? Because the Most High hates you. Why? Look at your track record. Look what you're doing to the earth. It's absolutely unacceptable that bees are dying off in in this great of a number, man. Job 30 and 6 to dwell in the cliffs of the rocks in the caves of the earth and in the rocks. 
Among the bushes they braid, <sighs> groan in the shit, cavemen. The Lord has cleaned you up and put you in power to show his power when he comes to destroy you. Under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools. You people, you Edomites. It doesn't matter what kind of degree you have. It doesn't matter how many credentials you have. It doesn't matter if you live in a condo downtown. You are the dumbest nation of people on the earth. Why? As a result, look at what the earth looks like under your rulership. This is why the Lord called you children of fools. It says they were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men. <laughs> they were viler than the earth. The Most High called you people vile, your race. All right, and rightfully so. Why? Look what you're doing to the earth. Look what's coming out <laughs> in the mainstream medium that you that you Edomites are doing behind closed doors. You're pedophiles. You rape and molest little children. You're homosexuals. You're vile. Let's get this word vile. And this is why the earth looks like this. This is why bees are dying off. This is why there's a, a, a long extinction list of animals, man. Because you're the, the vile and the wicked is ruling the earth. Actually, let's get the definition of it right here. Let's get the definition of vile. Vile. Extremely unpleasant, foul, nasty, unpleasant, bad, disagree disagreeable, horrid, horrible, dreadful, abominable, atrocious, offensive. Obnoxious, odious, unsavory, repulsive, and that's the, that's what these people are, man. And you can see that these uh, you can see these attributes in their rulership. That's why these bees are dying off, man. Okay, but now we're getting towards the end where you're going to be destroyed, and all of these things happening on the earth is <laughs> gonna be it's gonna be vanquished, man, because we're gonna the Lord's gonna come and He's gonna put the spirit on everything to prophesy and to take you down, and then the Lord's eventually gonna destroy you, man. And his rulership is not going to last. It tells you in uh, Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, that this man and these people ruling this world, this is the end of the world of the wickedness. All right, and the, the world to come is going to be ruled by Jacob, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in righteousness, forever. Revelations eleven and eighteen. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. That's the times we're living in now. You see all these nations coming against this man, wherever he is on the earth. And the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them. Who is the them? The biblical Edomites, the wicked, Malachi 1 and 4, Job 9 and 24. And, and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth. And that's what's going to happen to you people that are in power, you elites, all right, <laughs> you Rothschilds. You Bilderbergs, you Gettys, you Morgans, all of you people, and even people that are not named, that are in control of this earth and that dictate and regulate this earth and wickedness, you are about to be destroyed. That's what the scripture says here, and should just destroy them which destroy the earth, because you are, you are <laughs> obviously responsible for these things, man. Lord willing, I was edifying, call all you, how about Shemi al Shai, by Shemi Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well on the scriptures. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and Abba, Abba.